Mike Denton is now a free man. However, the former New Jersey Devils draft pick was in prison for five years for a crime that appears to be a made-for-Netflix documentary special. Because just a few years after making his NHL debut, the Canadian native found himself in hot water when he attempted to hire a hitman to assassinate his own father. And despite never receiving another NHL check, Danton went on to resume his pro hockey career while serving five years in prison for a truly weird murder-for-hire scheme that never materialized. Who is Michael Danton? Michael Sage Danton is a Canadian-Polish retired professional ice hockey player who played for the National Hockey League's New Jersey Devils and St. Louis Blues between 2000 and 2004. Danton was drafted 135th overall by the New Jersey Devils in the 2000 NHL entry selection. He was a left winger for the St. Louis Blues who acquired him in exchange for a third-round draft pick from New Jersey. In the 2003-2004 season, he appeared in 68 games for the Blues. After growing estranged from his family, he changed his last name from Jefferson to Danton while with the Devils organization. He admitted he adopted the surname Danton from the name of a 13-year-old child at David Frost's hockey camp since the name sounded cool. He also had a falling out with Devils general manager Lou Lamoriello, which led to his suspension and eventual trade to St. Louis. His arrest Danton was arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit murder on April 16, 2004, two days after the Blues were eliminated from the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs by the San Jose Sharks. On July 16, 2004, he pled guilty to attempting to hire a hitman who was actually a police dispatcher to murder David Frost, his agent, and was sentenced to seven and a half years in a United States federal prison by U.S. District Judge William Steele. Frost, though, continues to deny that he was the intended victim. In an interview with ESPN in 2011, Danton stated that his initial target was his estranged father, Steve Jefferson. Rogue Agent, a documentary on Danton and Frost's history, aired on the CBC program The Fifth Estate in November 2005. The documentary focuses on Frost's domineering relationship with Danton and how he urged Danton to distance himself from his parents, as well as an alleged event in which Frost and a number of his players abused Danton's younger brother. A taped phone call Danton made to Frost a week after his arrest is also shown in the documentary. Frost directs Danton to plead guilty and closes the chat by asking that Danton declare, I love you, which Danton does, fueling speculation that the two are homosexual. Frost was charged with 12 counts of sexual exploitation in 2006 for alleged activities on three females and four males between the ages of 14 and 16, which occurred while Frost was Danton's junior hockey coach with the Quinte Hawks. On November 28, 2008, Frost was cleared on all counts. The trial included testimony from ladies who had played in threesomes with other players and Danton. Frost was also cleared of fraud charges relating to the use of one of Danton's credit cards on February 14, 2009. Danton testified that Frost had his authorization to use the card. According to a July 2008 Denver Post report, Howard Kiefer, the lawyer who presented Danton in his murder conspiracy case, had never graduated from law school and hence was not licensed to practice law. Kiefer pled not guilty to two felony counts in September 2008, and press sources reported that he would not be defending himself in court. After five years at FCI Sandstone, the United States Bureau of Prisons authorized Danton's request to be transferred to a Canadian prison on March 19, 2009. He was imprisoned at the Pittsburgh Institution in Choiceville, Ontario. Danton was eligible for release under Canadian law, which he received on September 11, 2009. No communication with his father, who Danton now claims was the intended target, and no face-to-face -face encounters with Frost, who is likely thought to be Danton's genuine target, are among the conditions of his parole. It said that an additional condition was to subscribe to our channel as well, but we couldn't confirm this piece of information. Making the best of his mistake While imprisoned, Danton attended Queen's University via correspondence. In the fall of 2009, he applied to St. Mary's University in Halifax, Nova Scotia for admission in January 2010. Danton began the winter 2010 semester by enrolling in three courses and joining the St. Mary's Huskies varsity men's hockey team. 
Danton scored a goal for the St. Mary's Huskies in a 4-1 loss to the Acadia Axemen at the Halifax Forum on January 27, 2010, his first game since his release from prison. Danton played for the Huskies in a 5-3 loss to the UPEI Panthers on January 30, 2010 at the McLaughlin Arena in Charlottetown. The Huskies won the 2010 University Cup on March 28, 2010, defending the Alberta Golden Bears in Thunder Bay, Ontario. On October 4, 2010, Canadian Inter-University Sport announced that Danton had been chosen as an academic All-Canadian based on a student CIS athlete with a grade point average of 3.7 or better. Danton maintained a 3.9 GPA throughout the winter, spring and summer semesters, and it was reported in a media story that his study ethic keeps him in the Patrick Power Library at St. Mary's until 11 p.m. every night. The Comeback Danton stated on his Twitter account on July 28, 2011 that he had signed with a Swedish professional club for the 2011-2012 season. The following day, it was revealed that this was the Division I club IFK Orr. We're clearly aware of his background, but it was years ago, the club explained. The club went on to clarify that the club chose Danton because of his playing knowledge. When he arrived in Sweden, the club appointed him captain. On December 18, 2011, while playing his debut game for Orr, Danton used talents he learned in prison to rescue teammate and linemate Marcus Bengston's life. Bengston's head hit the ice after a severe hit and he began convulsing. Danton waited for his teammate's mouth to open before preventing Bengston from choking on his own tongue. Sodaham Lajusna HC was defeated 4-3 by Orr. Danton scored 16 goals and 25 assists for a total of 41 points in 27 games. Following Orr's inability to qualify for the spring series known as Alatan, Orli Znomo of the Erstebank Ice Hockey Liga confirmed the acquisition of Danta on December 17, 2011. He played the rest of the season for the South Moravian club. Danton was signed by Coventry Blaze of the Elite Ice Hockey League on May 20, 2012, but his time with the club was cut short because the UK border agency rejected his application for a UK entry visa twice. He then signed a one-year deal with Kramfors Alliansen of the Swedish Division I League on September 29, 2012, following the departure of defenseman Dean Moore and forward Bill Keenan to IF Sundsvall of Hockey Altfanskan. After that, he moved to HCO5 Banska Bistrica in the Slovak Extraliga on January 9, 2013. He then began the 2013-2014 season with Bebaras Atirao in Kazakhstan. He had his contract cancelled after protesting about violations in it, and he was transferred to HSE Succerida in Romania. Finally, Danton signed a contract with Siarko PBS Bank KH Sanok of the Polish Hockey League until the conclusion of the season on January 24, 2014. He won the 2013-14 playoff championship with Sanok. He agreed to terms for the 2014-15 and 2015-16 seasons. The team did not compete in the 2016-17 season due to financial difficulties. Therefore, Danton returned to North America, signing with Riviere du Lou 3L of the LNAH. He retired from professional hockey after one season in the LNAH. If you love this type of video, we highly recommend clicking the video on the screen to learn how this NHL player became homeless.